Hi, Chad Biggerstaff, attorney with Ramos Law, bringing you another episode of House of Law. Today we're going to talk about common interest communities, or HOAs, which you become subject to upon signing of your purchase agreement. Stay tuned. Welcome back. What is an HOA and why do I care? In Colorado, HOAs are governed by the Colorado Common Interest Ownership Act, commonly known as CIOA, which is in the Colorado Revised Statutes, Title 38, 33.3-101. If you want to know more about Colorado Common Interest Ownership Communities and HOAs, that's where you should go and look. The reason this is important is if you own a property or you're looking to purchase a property in Colorado, once you sign that real estate contract, you become subject to that homeowners association's bylaws and declarations. The bylaws are the rules that govern the board of directors. The board of directors is a group of volunteer homeowners within the community that run the association. The declarations, also known as CCNRs, which are covenants, cons conditions and restrictions, those are the rules that govern each of the owners within the community and what they can do with their own property. That's why it's important to understand what the HOA means to you. Most importantly, one of the rules in the declarations will be the assessment. The assessment in an HOA is an amount of money that you as a homeowner is required to pay either on a monthly, uh, semi-annually or annual basis, depending on how the board of directors has set that up. Now, it's important to know what this assessment amount is each month or each year because it's in addition to your mortgage payment. So if I'm out there looking for a property, I need to know what my assessments are in those different properties so I can calculate that into my mortgage payment and my out-of-pocket expenses each month. So the Board of Directors controls the HOA and the declarations or CCNRs. Those are the rules that govern what you can do with your property. What types of things am I talking about? Well, what color can I paint my house? Many times there's a restricted number of colors that you're allowed to use to paint your own property. Can I have a basketball hoop on my house? Can it be on my house? Does it have to be on a pole out front of my house? Um, what happens if I don't mow my grass or pull my re weeds? Is there an issue with that regarding the HOA rules? And in fact, there is. Um, you need to be familiar with all of these rules because if I violate these rules, the Board of Directors can issue a complaint to me or a notice of violation. That notice will generally be posted on the property and explain to me what it is that I violated within the CCNRs, which one of those rules that I'm not in compliance with. And it can be, again, anything like you didn't pull your weeds, you need to get this taken care of. It could be you built a shed in the back of your house and you didn't get architectural committee approval to do so. We want you to tear the shed down, get approval, and then rebuild it. Yes, these types of things actually happen within HOAs. So once I get the notice that tells me what my issue is that I violated, I need to correct that issue as quickly as possible. If I don't correct the violation, the Board of Directors can issue a fine. Those fines are generally also listed in the CCNRs and they go up as I ignore them or don't pay them. Now keep in mind that the Board of Directors has full control and authority over you as an owner. If you don't pay your fines or don't comply with the CCNRs, they can file a lawsuit against you and take you to court. In the event that they do this and you don't pay or a judgment enters against you, they could actually file a lien against your property for overdue assessments, overdue fines, late fees, legal fees. So be aware of the rules and follow the rules to avoid any issues going forward. Fighting with the association is difficult because the document you agreed to when you purchased the property. So be familiar with that document and make sure you're following the rules. If you don't like the way that the association is being run or perhaps some of the rules that they're enforcing, you can volunteer to be part of the board of directors and help change those rules. Um, it's really the only way that you can change the rules within the organization is to become part of the board of directors or a vote of the majority of the homeowners within the association. The board of directors has regular meetings that all of the homeowners can attend and at those meetings they discuss the rules. If you don't like the way the rules are or the way that they're being enforced, get the homeowners together, go to a board meeting, vote to change those rules or get on the board yourself and volunteer some time to take care of the community. So that's a little bit about HOAs, how they're structured and how they work. I hope this has been a help to you. If you have any further questions, I would look into Kiowa, Title 38 of the Colorado Revised Statutes, or contact an attorney to get some more information. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us on another episode of House of Law. We'll see you next time.